keep asking us, what are all of these moths doing in Kansas? This week, they got so bad that Wichita Community Center that the organizers there that were holding an event had to move it to another location. Alex Jurgens is looking into how long they're expected to be around and what you can do to keep them outside of your home. Over the last few weeks, Kansans have been dealing with a growing number of army cutworm moths as they migrate towards the Rocky Mountains. It's gotten so bad that community center at Manissa Park, moths have actually gotten inside the building here. But those that use this space tell me that it really hasn't been that big of a problem. Check out the swarm of moths in the west entrance of the Manissa Park Community Center. I started seeing it like around two weekends ago. And they got so bad, one event moved to a different building. So how and why are they looking to get inside? Matt McKernan with K-State Extension says they're trying to hide away from light. The moths are going to be most active during the nighttime hours. During the daylight, they try to find cracks and crevices to crawl into to hide from the light during the daytime hours. If you're hoping to keep moths away from your house, there are a couple of things you can do, such as turning off exterior lights at night. If you can't turn off exterior lights, replacing the white light bulbs with yellow light bulbs um, also is going to reduce the number of insects and moths that are attracted to those lights that are left on outside. In Wichita, Alex Jurgens, 12 News. Miller moths are migratory and are expected to move west to the Rocky Mountains for the summer within the next two to four weeks.